the hadith of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiyallahu an when the messenger of Allah said if one of you gives anything for the sake of Allah a caller will call and say Ya Abdullah hadha khayr O servant of Allah this is good for you O servant of Allah if you give two pounds if you give sadaqah then a caller will call from above I will say to you you did well and then the messenger of Allah said so if you were from the people of sadaqah your name will be called from the gate of sadaqah if you are from the people of salah your name will be called from the gate of salah if you are from the people of jihad your name will be called from the gate of jihad if you are from the people of fasting your name will be called from the gate of rayyan and then Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, he says, Salla radiyallahu anhu, Ya Rasulullah, if anyone's name is called from any of these gates, there are no harm, there is no harm upon that person. However, is there a person that his name can be called from all of these gates? The Messenger of Allah said, yes, and I hope you're going to be one of them. Now look at the mentality and the aim of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. If his name was called only from the gate of Salah, would be enough. But he wants his name to be called from eight different gates. It's not like you're going to enter from all different eight gates. Why? Because he aimed high. Why? Because he won the best. And that's why Umar ibn Khattab used to say, radiyallahu an, used to say, qala ja'alhim la tusagiranna himmatak. He said, do not lower your expectation. Do not lower, do not say, alhamdulillah, I finished this, alhamdulillah. He said, no. Qala fa inni lam ara aqa'ada lirrajul. He said, I have never seen anything that is more harmful for men than having lower expectation on himself. And Ibn Qayyim used to say, لَبُدَّ لِسَانِكْ It is necessary for a person who is marching, marching towards Allah. Himma تُصَيِّرُ وَتُرَقِيهِ he has to have high aspiration, high ambition that will direct him, that will elevate him. وَعِلْمٌ يَهْدِي And a knowledge that will guide him. And a knowledge that will guide him. So as a mu'min, ya ikhwati fi Allah, do not limit yourself. It is so sad, ya ikhwati fi Allah, that when you see the condition of the ummah, if I take off my hat and I flip it, I may see it saying made in China. If I flip the carpet, it may say made in China. If I flip the color of my thaw or your shirt, it may say made in China, made in UK, made in all other, other places except Muslim country. It's so sad. That from kufi to our sandals, is meant they're all manufactured elsewhere. They all made it by other people. I was so sad to see that even people, non-Muslim, they made wudu stations for Muslims. They made the masbah that some people use for them. We consume ya ikhwati fillah. We don't produce. We always like to consume. You know, that's sad. That is so sad. Ummah, 1.7 billions according to CIA. All of them expecting others to provide, to provide for them. To help them. To give them. SubhanAllah, what is wrong with the Muslims? 
Why are we so dependent on others? It's because we don't expect anything from ourselves. It's because we like to rely and lean on others. It's because we have no high aspiration. We always aim low.